Hi, Maura. Hello. So we have Maura Wigderson here, who is a surprise candidate for mayor of the city of Waukesha. Hi, Maura. Hello. And Maura, we'd like to know, why are you planning on running for mayor? Well, the first thing is, I don't think the stop signs had that much color, and red's not my type of color, so I want to change it to pink. And I think that um, if we have, um, if we change the name, instead of Qatar Town, we should make it Spring City, because we were known for our springs. Okay. So, what else would you like to do in this city? What, what changes would you like to make? If we're going to keep the name Qatar Town, I really think we should make Qatars here. Oh, okay. What changes would you like to see downtown? We should probably put a grocery store, because what if someone just came back from the restaurant and said, Oh, wait, I forgot to go gra grab some groceries. And they had the go and they had the drive all the way to the other side of the town. That's not gonna be fun. That's gonna take like forever. Okay. What what changes would you make to Freeman Friday Night Live? Um, they should like give out little to toys to children, like the smiley face eraser, for example, and little to and other little toys, like little mini Chinese drums, maybe, and also. They should have like mini roller coasters too, like mini ones, and so that way the kids could have more fun because they only have like face painting and bounce out in bouncy houses. So I just think they should put like balloons for the kids. That would be nice. Okay, they haven't even had the bouncy house for a while. That v upsets me very much. So the kids really don't have nothing to do there. Okay, so. What, so what, what would you like to see come to Waukesha? What kind of businesses? Um, maybe some like hotels, like, so that way when, if we expand our museums, more people wa might want to check out our museums. So for instance, hotels and also like some craft, uh, some craft shops too. Some craft shops. You'd like more of those? And uh, like a mini toy store for kids. And a toy store for kids. Downtown, mm -hmm. you'd like that? Yeah, I want those things downtown. That would be a nice selection. Okay. You mentioned expanding the museum. How, how would you like to see the museum change? I think that they need to make it bigger so that way we can have like some history from our springs. And speak, speaking of our springs, why don't we have tours for our springs? Like, Because they're still in their spots. It's just like at Springs Park for it. Park, for example, you can you can only see inside the window. Can't you have like m mini tours and and actually get to look inside? Oh, that would be different. So, so um, other other than that, I mean, is what other changes would you like to see in the museum? Well, yeah, not only the museum, but it's just in the in the city in general. But okay, the museum. Well. Do you, I mean, is there an aspect of our history that you don't think we celebrate enough in Waukesha? The the slave part, the the hum, was, Waukesha was had a lot of runaway slaves coming through there. So why don't they use some of the things that they might have found from the runaway slaves and put it in the museum? That would actually be really interesting because I love because I love learning about history. So, like, the Underground Railroad era, you would really like to learn more about. Mm-hmm. Like, Harriet, because I'm wondering, what if Harriet Tubman came through came through the, here so, when when she was trying to get to Canada? Maybe she came through here. Oh, I don't know if she did or not. Um, so, what other businesses would you like to see in Waukesha? Hmm... If we're going to keep the name Qatar Town, I really think we should have a Qatar store where we make guitars. Where we make guitars, okay. And what about dancing? We need a Trinity Irish Dance Studio by Liberty Dance. I'm like, oh my gosh, why did they move? 
because they moved to a different city. I'm like, really? Why did you guys move? This is a great city. And I'm like, so yeah, I'm like, so, so I'm like really upset about that. All right. I understand you have a poster, the campaign poster. Behind me? Yes. Yeah. Um, so first part is, the, my first part, it says pink stop signs right here. I mentioned that earlier. Okay. And also it has a picture of me. I it drew has a it. a picture of you. I'm That's really good. good at art. And mm -hmm. it says up here, Laura Witherspoon wants to be mayor. Will she get enough votes to be mayor? That's what it says up here. And it says down here, Laura says, Trinity, come back. And down here, this is probably like my favorite part right here. Because it shows, it talks about Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Right next to the Trinity Irish Dance. And it talks about how I want more money to for um for for scouts and then the last thing is when is like right underneath the picture mm -hmm. of me right it says right here okay let me just um, it shows right here can you see it yeah it shows that I don't want any more empty store lots that's that really makes me upset so I put a picture of like one like the store that one maybe that my is me my mom's favorite store store and it's called Pink from Victoria's Secret that shop and it's and then I just made up this sh st shop called Bows and and more bows which is just like a hair salon. Oh. So yeah. Okay, and then. Finally, um, so what, I mean, what is Maura Wigderson's, like, big idea for the city? The biggest idea? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, and then I thought of one more question, so. Maybe, let's come back to the biggest idea. You get, you think about that for a second, but what do you think about the trains? They drive me kabonkers. They drive you kabonkers? Yeah, because what if you need to go to an important meeting? Because I know you're a writer, so what if you need to go to like d down, like a down, like in the city hall? What if you need a meeting? Has to go to one of these meetings, and so that way you can like write about it. And all of a sudden, it, and you might, and if you if a train comes by, you're gonna be late. And all of a sudden, the train comes by, and you're like, ah. Oh, and the train is actually going to probably keep you from getting there in time. Mm. But, so this is what I think we should do. We should, like, we should, like, kind of, like, replace our track train tracks. So that way they're in, like, places not as close to downtown. Oh. Divert the trains away from downtown. Mm -hmm. Or maybe build more bridges. Yeah, or like the trains go, like you can make like a bridge over the, over for like every single area where trains come by. Like the train goes over the road and you go under. That actually would work out better, so that way you don't have to worry about being stuck in a traffic jam. Mm. What do you, What do you love about Waukesha? I love. I just love all their arts. That's like my favorite thing because I'm. Because I always wanted to be an artist when I always want to be an artist, so I just like their I love their art. But this thing that doesn't get me about their art is why do they have art like tar arts? That's kind of weird. Because one of them is like super weird, like some of them is like really weird. Like this one is like a human with like tiger claws for hands and that one's just really weird and it ha it's on a guitar for like the guitar town guitars that one's really weird what else do you love about Waukesha I really do like how like the museum is in the old city hall where like 
like in the old city hall where the city hall used to be, but now they have a new one. But I really like the fact that that um that they had the museum being at the old city hall. That's yeah. something they really like. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, and good luck to you. Do you think you're going to win? Probably, but not, my brother doesn't think I won't, though. All right. Thanks a lot, Maura. All right. Well, I'll see if we can have another interview, interview later, okay? Okay. I'll see when I have time, okay? All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.